angle isn't very flattering. I don't know. I just... Uh, it's hard to look at myself sometimes since I gained this weight. Uh, I look back on, like, when I was skinny. And, uh... It's crazy. Like, I... It's... I mean, it's like I don't even remember it. You know? Just because now I'm fat again. So, like, I'm not skinny. But I miss it. I look back and I'm like, dang, I look good. But back then, I didn't think that. I was like, I could do better. <clears throat> So just nice. Another little update. Uh, fresh out of work, kind of. Um, so this, so this is this is asshole, right? Um, and I I remember him because he was here some other time, right? At Burger King while I was working, and so there's like some sixteen year old girl, our coworker, at the front, and he starts yelling for whatever reason. Um, cause you know, like he's a fucking scumbag, you know, he's not a nice person, some black old dude and you know, he starts to raise his voice and then me and, um, my coworker who's, who's a, who's a, who's bigger than me, uh, could easily shut the other dude out, like lights out with one punch type shit. Dang. You know, my face, it's hard to look at my face right now. Um, what if I do it like this? This is a bit better. We're not doing that. So then the dude shuts up. He's he he starts calming his voice and he's like, "Okay, here's what I want," you know, like like he changed his whole attitude as soon as someone who he didn't feel comfortable talking to or talking down to pulled up, right? And I'm sitting on the side, and I'm like, "There, in case anything happens, you know, like I want to be involved. I want to beat the shit out of this dude, you know, whatever. Like if he hits hits a girl." It's my coworker, like, I want to, you know, I'm, I don't want to sit in the back. Um, so fast forward, so, so that gets de-escalated, you know, whatever. He comes back, and we remember this dude. And it seemed like the last time he was there was, at least, um, last time we could remember, because the last time that we remember was when he started this stuff with the 16-year-old. <laughs> Did that again, same 16-year-old. And then my manager came out. I was washing the dishes. I didn't hear it all the way. <laughs> Until I, you know, started hearing some, some louder voices. Um, so my manager, um, so, you know, I guess he wants a refund. She's like, I'm calling the cops, you know, whatever. So I was like, you know, I figure out what ha what's happening. Walk to the front. Stop, stop watching the dishes. Walk to the front. I'm like, uh, my other coworker, fuck that dude. I talked about it in my last update. I was like, I think we're cool now. Fuck that dude. You know why? Because today, <laughs> my coworker. Um, so I cut myself, I cut myself with a knife, uh, on accident. I was trying to open up a bag. It was stupid, but I was trying to open up a bag. Boom. Cut right here, uh, at work. And he's trying to tell me which knife I cut myself with. And I, I was just like, no, I don't think it's the one that he was saying. And the dude's like, you know, like he, he it switches to from like what I consider to be playful like I'm just like no like they did like he starts getting pressed for some reason I'm like why the fuck are you mad like the last time I talked about him uh in my last update I was I was like a bit more scared to do it just because I had to think about doing it the next time like it had to build up to me interacting with him but I was just like no fuck like fuck is this dude talking to so I'm just like why the f like why are you mad bro you know like He's like, I'm not mad. like, shut the fuck up, bro. Like, shut your fucking bitch ass up. <laughs> Sorry, I'm still angry. Um, fuck that dude. Love to smack the fuck out of that dude, but so this black dude. <clears throat> um, so I walk to the front, and then he's like, you know, he he's calmed down a bit. He's he's like fucking being all smug. He's like, like he's got his hand clenched. He's like. Not like, like, he's just, like, pacing back and forth. He's acting like he doesn't care. He's like, oh, I'll be here tomorrow. And she's like, meet me outside after my shift and I'll beat the fuck out of you. And it's like, okay, we know what would happen. But, yeah. So, uh, my shift, so he leaves. My shift is over. I have a fucking flat tire. So, I know it's him. It was only my car. Uh, I don't, I just don't, I don't think he knew whose was whose. But he probably knew it was an employee's. So, my tire fucking got slashed and I just drove back there and uh no cameras so 
my tire got slashed. Uh, also in the news, my my muffler fell off of my car when I was driving my friend uh, home. Uh, and that's temporarily fixed, not permanently fixed. But yeah, like my car's bad rough. But so he said it'll be there tomorrow, and uh, we'll see what happens. Uh, my may or may not update you guys. Probably not. I'll be honest. Um, but yeah, uh, I'm angry. And another dude's got a knife. Since, you know, he wants to slash my fucking tire. Uh, but yeah, uh, on a lighter note, your boy did it again. Almost. Almost. <laughs> another girl. And my last girlfriend. Um, you know, I don't, I don't like to say it. And I knew people who are finding out that I've had a girlfriend. I don't, I don't say the truth. Like, I'll be honest. Like, we were, me and my last girlfriend were fully long distance. I met her online. And, and I knew it was stupid, but I still wanted to, like, give it a chance. Like, bef when I, when I first thought of it with her, I was like, that's stupid. But, um, honestly, I had just, like, never had a girlfriend before. So, <laughs> a bit desperate. Um, if I'm being completely honest. But now, um, Spanish girl. <laughs> She's been here for, been in America for a year. She doesn't even speak complete English, but... I like her, and I've been trying to learn Spanish. Uh, I have a whole Hispanic friend group that I hang out with in college. It's sick, and I really like this girl, but um, the reason we're not a thing yet. So we like each other. We know that. Flirt back and forth all the time. Like we're dating, but we're not because, uh, as I said before, actually, oh, I don't think I did. Um, I got disqualified from service for the Marines. I didn't post that one. I, I don't know. I just didn't post it, but I recorded it. I disqualified from service, so I, I got disqualified. I gave them my waivers to try and get it overturned, and they didn't accept them. So I guess I'm going to try the Army. But now that I'm with this girl, and, and, I, and I'm still going to do what I got to do. Because the Army or the military was what I wanted to be my future. You know, it all happened so suddenly, but I fell in love with the idea. So I really like hanging out with this girl and it's it's made me put a pause on everything. Like I haven't, since, since I got disqualified, it's been a few weeks, like two weeks. I haven't done anything. I haven't reached out to the army. <laughs> I'm sick also. I haven't done any of that. And, um, I'm just, I'm enjoying myself, you know, but I, I got to stay true to who I am, you know, uh, stay disciplined because I struggle with moderation. When I really enjoy something, I either do it a lot or not at all, you know, um, it's just my personality type, I guess. Um, so that's the same with people. Like, I've, I've cut out all these other things that make me happy and whatever. So now people kind of just take that place. And it's hard to say no sometimes, but I need to stay true to who I am. I need to stay on top of everything, stay good. So uh, I really like talking to this girl. But I think uh, next week, this week, today's Saturday, like uh, from Monday to whatever, I'm going to, for the most part, be kind of MIA. Still talk, you know, like over text and whatever. But I, I got to make sure my college stuff is up because work scheduled me for 36 hours this week. Uh, they scheduled me for 28, but then I took another shift, uh, which was an eight-hour shift. It's the most hours I've ever worked, so I need to make sure college is straight because work has gotten in the way of a lot of what I need to do today or uh, this week. You know, in the gym, I'm st I'm trying to go five days a week. I've been going three, but like still working out most every day, um, or like staying active or whatever. But. Uh, yeah, next week we're gonna try five. It was supposed to be this week, but I, I've been I've been working late, so I've been tired, so I've been sleeping in. I, you know, not proud of it, but I have been. <coughs> haven't been meaning to either. Um, I really like this girl. I really do. Um, you know, there's some things that she doesn't understand. Like she's she's pretty good at English. You know, it's not just like. 
we have to Google Translate each thing we say. Like, no, she understands a lot of what I say. It's just, like, some bigger words she doesn't understand. Uh, I don't know anything about Spanish. I had some Spanish classes, and, um, like, some words are familiar. But, yeah, it's... I, it's, I've been doing Duolingo for like over two years on Japanese and I switched to Spanish so I'm locking in trying to learn Spanish and yeah I really like this girl um we talked we already talked so much about like how we first started getting to like each other and apparently she kind of like she didn't just know what I mean is like <laughs> Like, I didn't just immediately see her and be like, okay, I want her. But I was like, she's attractive. And I guess it was like the same for me, with me. Um, but when I met one of her friends, um, who was a dude, at least that's how she explained it, um, it switched. So, you know, she's talking to her friends about me, which is weird because I'm never, I never see myself in that light. I, like, even that, like, I think I look stupid. I think I look ugly. Right here, I don't look bad. But my face is like kind of puffy. So, like, because I'm fatter. <laughs> I it I'm not always looking at myself in the camera anymore like I used to be so it's kind of unfamiliar now. <laughs> but yeah, she thinks I'm handsome, you know, whatever. Uh, it's it's nice to hear because like I said, I uh, don't think of myself in that light, but she's gorgeous, bro. She's so pretty, and uh, who knows? Maybe maybe one day I can. I'll let you guys finally meet one of my girlfriends because. Yeah, um, yeah, but again, we're not official yet, because again, like, we both know that if I'm going away, then it's gotta be rethought, which, which is gonna suck, because it wouldn't be right for me to continue how things are, I would need to, like, distance myself and kind of pretending nothing happened, just for her sake, so she can move on, or, you know, whatever. It's also her first boyfriend. You guys might not believe that, but she's coming from Peru. And, um, I don't know. She, she explained it as it just never really happened. She's a really sweet, shy girl. She's not a thought. She's not, you know, like, one of these typical girls that you see in college, you know. Um, yeah. I really like her. And, uh, trying to learn Spanish for her. And the rest of my friend group. I, I really like my friend group. And um, believe it or not, I think uh, three people like me, you know. Um, you know, you might be like, oh, you have you have an ego. Shut up. Uh, obviously not. You're just in your head. But I was right about one of them. And the other two are pretty obvious. One of them is always hugging up, up, hugging up on me. I thought she just has like a flirty personality because she likes the attention. And my friends kind of explained it as the same way. But she said she wasn't interested in me, but they think maybe so i think she might Ugh. hold up i'll get to that in a second and then that 22 year old that i was talking about um i think she changed her mind on like oh you guys didn't hear about any of that because i didn't post that one so this is 22 year old that that i liked like uh i thought she was attractive i'm 19 now which is weird to say because i've been 18 for so long um but I heard from her friend that she was like, he's cute, but he's too for me. Which is, I mean, I'll take, I'll take it. It's more than I expected, you know. Um, but you know, then like all of a sudden, when like I, I've talked to her now, like had long conversations with her. It's really easy to talk to. I really like talking to her. Um, but I'm with, I'm talking to this other girl. Um. <clears throat> And, you know, she starts laughing. She starts throwing her head on my shoulder. It's like, like, why? I don't, I don't want to hurt anyone, you know. Um, but I've made my choice. I want the one I've been talking to. I'm not going to be a two-timer. I'm not going to, you know, not that I'd be able to hide that same friend group. But it's like, it's crazy. Like, this is so out of nowhere. And also, further proof, her friend, the friend of the 22-year-old, she later just told me, just randomly, she was like, she, she says you're pretty, by the way. And I was like, wait, why? And then, um, this friend of hers, which is also the one that's always hugging up on me. She's hugging up on me at 22. I'm just saying, 
your boy ain't a player, but he is a baller. And now we gotta spend a minute. I can uh do I miss you guys? Nah. Ooh, I got some titty. I was gonna show y'all I'm looking. back I am still a big boy I got put that on me looking pretty good though I guess I weigh like 165 that was another update piece